Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. Right, what we are going to do today is next three months. So July, August, September 2023. Yes, indeed. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Now, what we're going to do today is have a look at general reading, uh, general energies, what's happening for these three months, for each month actually, and then about money and love. And of course, this is a tarot reading, so I expect unexpected. There could be some surprise messages coming through as well. I have prepared nine decks. I think the nine will do, right? <laughs> Already. Pisces, I have been saying this for some time, but it's very important to check out your all signs your sun and your moon and the rising and venus because why i'm saying this because for example personally lately i resonate more with my moon sign much more than my sun sign and that can happen because maybe because um my spirit is that sort of position or something's going on in my life where i need to um connect with more with my different signs okay and this i get different messages then as well from uh, universe indeed right Pisces so what's happening and here we go lovely are you ready July wow 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 wow, wow, wow. you are queen of the castle are you buying your home are you buying are you moving a place? It feels like this is your decision. This is your decision. And the significant moves are happening. And either this is you, your lady, or male, doesn't matter. But it's a pers persona, it's a it's an individual who makes some sort of decisions. Either you're making a lot of decisions regarding your family, yourself. Um, some sort of changes are happening, okay? And you're quite closed, closed off. Look. The gates are closed, the, um, the fencing is closed, and the moon is here. Wow. Like yourself, Pisces, quite mysterious. Like to think, keep things mysterious ways. Okay. Let's dive in in a general reading for July. What's going on? And then we have a look at money on the left and love on the right. Okay. What's going on? Okay. So you are moving. <laughs> you are moving. Look at that. You are not moving yet, but you're planning. Look, this person is standing right there and is planning the next move. Look, the pyramids are here. And it feels like you have grand plans because pyramids, unless you live next to pyramids, which are beautiful. In fact, um, it feels like kind of future, long term, something is going on where you're participating. Indeed. It's some sort of exciting news. Perhaps you're wanting to start a business from home. Or I'm not saying right or wrong. Perhaps remortgaging a house or doing something with the household as well. Uh, it could be that you are changing where you live, uh, what you do. Um, there's a lot of influence happening, especially from you. Right. I think I'm going to go for um, work and finances first. Because it feels like lots. There's lots on your mind at the moment. Mm hmm work and finances here we go something has been uh delayed uh some sort of delays ha has happened and not everything is against you not everything is going bad but something could have gone better what is this about improvements some sort of deal perhaps have gone through okay and not materialized or didn't monetize uh there was some sort of ideas that you put forward didn't really materialize and that's fine but what well, is advice you need to know action don't give up mm, thank you thank you spirit do not give up it's not over yet oh look at that it just jumped out you're gonna reach what you need to reach okay and in the one war say Get the words out of me. Um, with, with regards to work, do not allow uh, pity yourself or uh, sulk on, 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 on feeling sorry for yourself because take action in your hands. Take no for answer. Never take no for answer, but learn how to say no yourself. And that will get you there. Okay. 
a little bit need to apply yourself okay and don't let that one little setback to stop you from proceeding what you want to do right love love is in the air strength leo right for some of you who are in in relationship it feels like you're very strong you're very strong together um it feels like it is your confidence it is you who drives that relationship a bit you're a very powerful person and you know it <laughs> yes you do if you're single I feel like you're gonna be put in a situation where you perhaps might meet someone, but it will happen if you have your confidence intact. Perhaps your confidence have been affected if you're single, okay? Hence, um, maybe it's important to have a good relationship with yourself, have a good conversation with yourself, be your best friend, and give your pat on the back and say that you look beautiful, okay? Because that, it oozes. Here we go. We have the tower. There's something happening. Okay. What's going on? Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Wow. All righty. Hmm. If you are single, you are going to, you will have some shocking, <laughs> shocking in a positive way, uh, meeting or meet or some sort of mysterious circumstances. You're going to meet a person, perhaps that person could be, I know yourself, <laughs> uh, Pisces, Sign or Leo. Um, but if you are in a relationship, um, I'm going to say as it is. Perhaps it's important to have conversations, honest conversations. Because it feels like there could be something is going on. Something is, without putting seeds in, in your mind, but it could be some sort of things are happening and you're not aware of it. If your intuition says to you something is wrong, something's off, guess what? Something's off. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. You big girl, big boy, you will figure it out. I don't want to put the negative seeds in you but please if something feels off speak to the person before it's too late but if you're single you're gonna have some very very charismatic in mysterious kind of ways oh my light just went off just did ticks sorry for that and what could be the sign <laughs> it's just the light went off so had to stop pause it for a second right yeah if something is off please use your intuition but if you're single watch this space and enjoy all right so august wow it is so interesting i think the first um a lot of signs for the next three months was so money focused. But I think yourselves, um, Capricorn especially, yes, and Aquarius as well, has so much love and relationship kind of uh, issues are coming up and situations. My light is coming up again. What is going on, Pisces? There's some mysterious things are happening, coincidences. I need to plug it back in again. Just two ticks. I'll be back. There. Some spirit is playing with, with the light. Well, what else? Because that is energy. So if there is any message coming through, it just did came through indeed. Right. What is interesting? We have two ladies here. Is there a triangle happening? Hmm? What's going on? Hence, I was saying it felt like a little bit triangle here. Yep. All right. Let's dive in. Let's dive in. What's going on? Okay. Bear with me. Bear with me. This is general energy for the month of August. You have some um, doubts about something. You have a doubt. And 
you're learning something about the past or someone else's past. Completely a little bit different than from July here. Interesting. I've been called to this card. Why? Okay. Oh, double edged swords. Okay. I am. I am very, very, very surprised. Why? I'll tell you now. I have suspicions, but I need to clarify. There. Yeah. Past has come back. Either haunt you or someone from the past is back. Or some sort of... Someone's actions. Something has happened before is happening again. Why? I don't know. Why they're doing the same? I don't know. And you're just finding it out. And it's time to literally... You feel like you want to... Cut it off and leave it. And moving on. You have tried it before. But it's something that is... Either this person keeps coming back to your life constantly. And it's some sort of attraction here. But it's it's just such a strong pull. It is a very, very strong pull. And I can't tell exactly. Is this romantic? We'll have a look. Or is this very strong, some sort of connection with you and this person? Very strong. It's, um, you have had some tough times together. I'm not going to lie to you. Hasn't been easy. But a lot of memories. I'm going to go with love, but I feel like here there's a lot of as well with regards to relationships. So this is not just going to be love, but this is going to be relationships because we are talking about courtship here Pisces something has had happy times something is reminding you of the happy times this person it is coming back and either and I, I'm gonna say strangely because the lights were going off and yeah and off again and it was strange, but I have to say this person could be living soul or or not. But there's a strong memories or connection here. And perhaps you're coming coming to some sort of anniversary soon, you know. Um yeah. You have seen a dream about this person, you have seen visions or messages. Vignon yon. Either in the clouds or in the sky or in nature. It feels like you have very undescribable connection. Very, very <laughs> mysterious. Very mysterious. What else do you need to know? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, for those who are single, and I'm going to come back to you guys. For those who are single, your wishes are coming through. And I feel some of you guys are going to meet someone through your either work or through what you do. And what's important is knowing the boundaries. Because very often, relationship and business doesn't mix so well. So it's important to kind of be really honest. Who puts the money in? Who does what? Okay, because it looks all roses at the beginning, but it doesn't look that much like at the end. Now, if you are in a relationship, or this is something as we were talking about, there's some sort of strong connection. This person is looking over you and helping you with your finances, financial situation, monies, Moving house or something along that lines. And you have been separated for some time. And sometimes, as I said, it could be something that you wanted to cut something off. There's some sort of parts of past that you do not want to drag with. But there's a lot of happy times here that you have enjoyed. Okay. Right. Let's go to work. 
Let's go to work. Let's have a look at the work prices. I know you're part wanting to partner up. Maybe it's a person that you will meet. Or you have a second thoughts of something. What's this about? Mm. I feel like you could be actually um, leaving the job or jacking the job or starting something completely different. You are in a verge of, you know what, might as well go travel or might as well do something bonkers, something crazy. Because you have the world in your hands and the world appears. It feels like as if like you're putting that manifestation out there and it just lands. Here we go. Something has something has been bugging you for a long time. It's kind of shoulda, woulda card. What has been bugging you? A person. Emotional connection. Because, hmm, okay. There could be a person that you do not agree with at workplace or where you at. Okay, what you do, your occupation. And it could be that you just do not, yeah, <laughs> you like lock the horns and that's it. Let's have a look at advice. And uh, and this person could be the reason why you actually want to move away. Yeah, here we go. Moving away. And we have the world again. So, yeah. There's some changes absolutely happening. Or you're planning some changes. Wow. Improving health. And it's up to you. Divine protection. And I have to say this, even though it feels all love and great, this spirit kind of connection, it's important that you have white light around you all the time, at all times. Yeah. There's some strong karmic connection here you have, perhaps from previous past, previous lives, or from many, many years ago. There's some sort of memories coming back. Some sort of lessons coming back. Adjustments are required. You are making changes. And I feel there's a lot of changes happening in your living conditions, in your work. No, thank you. Uh -huh. Dig deeper because it feels like you might be sometimes confused and not knowing what is the right decision. And ask for guidance, perhaps talk with this person, talk with this soul, talk to the angels and guides and ask for guidance. Because there will be some sort of decisions, some sort of situations will happen. And for example, you could be light switching off and, and so on. So and you just speak and say, spirit, what's going on? Why do you want me to, what's going on? Why, what's this happening? Have a communication and ask for answers. See, and listen to the answer. <laughs> Already, it's September. Wow. There's a new beginnings and kind of uplift. This is a card of status. A new baby, child, um, family unit. Starting a new job. Feeling all fresh. Having a new home. Or moving to a new place. Completely starting fresh. But better. Definitely. But better. Something's going to be given to you. The world is going to be very, very generous to you. Yeah. You will be really rewarded. And I feel this spirit here, guide, is helping you. You're going to feel like, where is this coming from? As if like, how did this end up so well? And how did I end up with extra money? How did I end up with this outcome which was good outcome thanks to someone's helping you here let's go to work i feel like you're going to be recovering from the previous uh even if you're staying in the same place you you are going through some healing process and be very cautious of your monies perhaps you can't move because there's some sort of restrictions maybe you don't have a car you can't move away but something's going to come your way. Don't you worry, okay? There will be some offers. Something will change. Either the company will change and some sort of structural um, change is happening. But I can't tell you now because High Priestess is kind of blocking it. 
and you don't need to know now but what you need to know is things are going to improve just hold on tight hold on there okay yeah you're not entirely happy but things are going to improve feels like you're hanging <laughs> yeah then when the time is right look we don't put the seeds right in the min middle of the winter right nor does that impress she knows when is the right time to put the seeds down when to put the right things to do the right thing to get the right outcome have faith in divine timing have faith in universal energies that's going to deliver it on the right time in the right place in the right way to you okay so just hang on there just hang on there right love what's going with love and relationships hmm. are you having seven of ones feels like all eyes on you could be some group come, gathering together as well um either this is at work or even outside of work um i'm feeling like someone is either jealous of you either you being single or you being in a relationship let's find out why is this there uh-huh <laughs> Okay. That's a very silly kind of saying, but it's true. Sometimes when, if you have colleagues or people who are different ages or different looks, very often you might experience someone jealous of your youth, someone jealous of your opportunities, possibilities, someone jealous of your, the way you work and what's happening in your life. Because there's going to be some great offers coming your way. Okay. And you've been looked after. And this relationship is not just with a person as romantically in love. But it kind of feels like this could be some friendship zone that is kind of a little bit of a... Mm, not as French friendly anymore. And let's dive in more. Let's dive in more. What do you need to know about this? Perhaps it's time to find new group of people or some of them even if you can't be you if you can't have a good time and you you have to explain explain yourself that's not your yeah someone's trying to restrict you or make you kind of isolate that's not friends uh -huh. if you're single you're going to be meeting a person or improving relationship that is going to be overfilling your cup with emotions and the money and perhaps that's why you have a little bit of jealousy from your friend, peer group of friends but if you're in a relationship you might be going through some new phase a uh, little couple of not arguments but kind of adjustments maybe someone's going out too much or is spending time too much with their friends and not with you and, and the family but I feel like there's going to be, are they going on holiday together or, or traveling together? You're going to have some settlement. And you're going to feel like there's, you're going to settle your happy house back again. Because it felt like there's some sort of outside influence happening. As if like someone has come into your house. Yes, baby. Yes, Pisces. What else do you need to know? Practically, and this is coming out a lot, practical intuition. This is your kind of type of area, isn't it, I says? Intuition. Use your intuition. Something feels off. Probably is. Someone is kind of a bit too envy, if you feel that way. Uh, if they're going to give a wrong kind of comments and stuff, more likely they are. Maybe they're not your friends no more. Look, you're going to be either traveling the world or are you going to be meeting people from different parts of the world or who has traveled? But it feels like the world is your oyster. Things are really coming together for you guys. A new start is coming. Oh, yeah. A new start is coming. And the last message from angels. What angels want you to know. 
Okay. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others. I'm going to read again. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. There. Sometimes it's important to stand out, not to stand out, not to fit in. Right, Pisces? Yes, indeed. All right, my beautiful souls. Thanks so much for being here. Let me know if there's any other type of readings you want me to do. Uh, let me know in comment section as well. And until then, love and light, and I'll see you. Guess where? In the next reading.